Thanks, Cordell. Yeah, I just got a picture with the boys behind us, and uh, they're pretty happy. Everybody's kind of basking in the glory, as you can see back here, taking pictures with a with a trophy, and everybody's smoking cigars and having a good time. We're not, because we're pros. We gotta, we'll be smoking cigars soon. I won't. I don't smoke cigars. I like the smell of them, though. Curtis Riggs is with me. Um, as, a, as a football analyst, which you are so good at, what were you most impressed by today? The defense. I think uh, the defense, when they got that first stop, that goal line stop held them to a field goal, um, and then the big stop by Adam Bach, too. I, I think Montana just seemed somewhat defeated. I, I think they played as well as they could, especially defensively, but they just didn't have enough uh, uh, bullets in the gun to try to go against that defense. I honestly thought the tackle by Bach was the turning point in the yeah. whole game. Yeah, and, and it was great to see he's had a tough season. He's had a lot of injuries and he's played hurt and he looked fast and he looked reckless today and uh, he's an exceptional football player. And on offense, they've got so many weapons. Uh, you know, Isaiah Davis is a beast. Uh, the Yankee twins are, you know, both of them can beat you in numerous ways. They're great, you know, at uh, possession receivers, but they can beat you deep. And Gronowski is your Walter Payton Award winner. Yeah, I, I thought the time he, he, he got out of the pocket, hit Zach, Zach Hines on the big third down completion, that's where you're like, oh, yeah, he's the best player in the nation right there. And he also scored a touchdown when I thought, oh, my gosh, what are you doing? Yeah. Going head first into a defensive player, and he barreled into the end zone. Yeah, I think we saw a lot of guys, though. You saw the Montana quarterback on a, a big run one time try to jump over someone, too. You could see the guys were leaving it all out on the field today. Well, this is a special team. I'm not sure South Dakota State fans will ever see a team like this again with all these guys who were here for six years. Yeah, I think that's the big difference is six years. I mean, you know, you're looking at guys that, I mean, they, the amount of experience they can gain and come out and play and then have that advantage against other teams. Other teams, that's the first thing they would point out. They got a six-year offensive line all the way across just about, and, and that was a big difference. All right, have fun tomorrow in Houston and cheer for Kalen for me, too. Yeah, thank you. All right, yep. Curtis Riggs, our guest. Uh, what a win. 23-3 for the Jacks. Back-to-back -back defending champions in impressive style. Back to you, Cordell.